What's up, my people? So getting into today's episode of General Hospital. So that Molly is a twit. I don't like her at all. She need to go. The actress, this ain't this ain't the role for you. That's for starters. You're a, and how they changed the character. She's such a selfish, self-righteous, ignorant shrew. No way. She needs to be a mother right now. She's like way too, first of all, she's all indecisive talking about, oh, am I rushing? Am I doing this too soon? Oh, cause I was, read, I was reading about this podcast and blah, 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 blah. And then, yeah, cra crazy these drivers out here. Act like they, they can't do that, but um, but yeah, um, also, yeah, she's talking with Alexis about that. And Alexis did her best to reassure her that, hey, this is, this is you and TJ's choice. Yeah, I got this. Cause she said, she said in the podcast about you have to grieve the child that you never, that you never had. I'm like, girl, bye. And then she's like, oh, I'm very happy that Christina is in here because if I saw Christina right now, I would lose it. Even though she knows that Christina's father is in jail right now. So she knows Christina is, is going through hell. Yet you would lose it on her if you saw her right now because your selfish self can't have a baby and she can what she's the worst sister ever when the chips are down you're supposed to be there to support each other molly is selfish as hell the old molly despite what haley put pull up haley um haley's incident put aside the old molly would have never done that to christina never so like i said this shrew is not working because even if they did have her to be the ultimate good girl that Molly always was before, I believe it would still come across as horrible because this new actress just as awkward as hell in the role. And also, let's not forget, and TJ's the ultimate simp. To be, oh, I know Christina's trying to help us, but she just doesn't know when to back off. Oh, you're just saying that to, to go, um, to go suck it up. Quit sucking up to her, TJ. TJ's a disappointment. He he should not, he knows that he's been with Molly for around 10 years, so that means you've known Christina as well for 10 years. Christina is who Christina is. She will always be who Christina is. But now Molly has a huge problem with it? No. She could kick rocks with no with no socks. No shoes, no socks. Tell her kick rocks. I don't like her. She is on on my hate list. She's someone I hate. And we know that's a long list. So Molly, you added yourself to it. And you know who else added herself to it? That freaking surrogate, because I don't like her. Even though I want her to make Molly suffer, I don't like her at all. She is so fake. Every word that comes out of her mouth just, bu just vexes me, because she's such a liar, I can see right through her. She's so fake. Like, uh-uh. Hide the scissors around her. Hide the knives, hide, hide, hide your jewelry, hide, hide, your hide your good clothes, hide your stuff around her. Cause she can't be trusted. Not at all, not even a little bit. I don't trust her at all. But, mm -mm. but Chris, but moving on from them, we had Christina and Michael. Um, Christina said, "Oh yeah, well you deserve, you um, you wanted this um, to happen, didn't you?" Um, Michael had had to get it twice because he before that he was getting cussed out by Dante until 
he convinced Dante that he turned over a new leaf towards Sonny. So that got him to do that. But then it was more or less similar. But Christina believes that he didn't have anything to do with that. But she believes that he wanted this for him. But Michael said, no, I didn't want this to happen. Does Sonny deserve to go to jail? Yeah, but he's because he's a criminal. But I didn't want this to happen to him, especially not in front of Wiley. Too little, too late. Michael, you set this in motion. So I hope, so even though we all know Sonny's gonna get out regardless, but you hired that little idiot Dex and now y'all all suffering the consequences, okay? Cause Dex is dumb as rocks. He really is. He's just a, he's a, a true disappointment. Jason Morgan would be more effective as a corpse than Dex as a, a live mobster. Just sad. But yeah. Um, Anna and Valentine, they just playing that, that cat and mouse game with each other. Cause they don't trust each other. Valentine lying to her face. He's lying to you. So that was interesting. Yeah, that was. That was interesting. But um, it's going to come to a head. It, it really is. I'm waiting for that showdown because I know it's going to come to a head. And hopefully they don't make Valentine the new Julian of 2016. I don't believe they will though. So that is what that is. And Nina need to go take several seats. She is obsessed with being liked by Michael. Like why? I don't already explain this to you. You are not family to him. Get over it. Four of Sunny kids, four of Sunny kids like you. Well, Dante's indifferent to you. He don't really care about you one way or another. You're none of his business. He's a grown, grown, grown man. That acts like a grown man. Freaking, um, Christina likes you. And then little Avery don't know that you kidnapped her from birth yet. She don't know about nothing about that. So she likes you right now. And little Donna, she likes you too, because she don't know no better either. So take the win. Michael is no prize. So stop praying for Michael to come around to liking you, because he won't. Just get over it, please. And then she whining to Olivia and Alexis about Sonny, but they used to, Sonny shenanigans over the years. I mean, but they know that Sonny, Sonny is a tough one. He will survive. He's a survivor. So Nina just need to go take a little chill pill and come down like several notches, okay? That's all Nina needs to do. Then we had Cody. Um, he, he was convinced, he was he was very convincing today. I mean, I, I obviously we know that he's faking, but I'm just saying. But he did he did a hell of a job. That actor, props to the actor today, because they I didn't like his acting ability that first time of that mental breakdown in the police station. But I thought he did a very, very good job today. I've spoken with people like him before that act like him before in real life. Um, so I've dealt with some people like that. It's not that dang far off. So, good job. Submit him to the Emmys. But hopefully, hopefully it's working. Hopefully him and Sam, because Sam is definitely on the Dr. Montague. I don't like him at all. He gonna get his. Someone need to shove Do Dr. Montague in some, into some acid. That will take care of that. Because he can't be 
Trust him. He can't be. He just can't. He's a horrible doctor. I don't even know how he's a doctor to begin with. I, I would say maybe somehow he faked his credentials. I was suspicious of that from day one. Cause he's just pure evil. And I'm doubting he's even a doctor. So he probably he probably knocked the real Dr. Montague down somewhere and is um or is an evil twin. Because the actor ain't bad to look at when you think about it. So I would like if he if he has if he has a good twin like um like Ryan, like Ryan came out as a devil and Kevin came along and he's good and he's still on the show, then shoot, you can find something for the actor playing him, but Dr. Montague himself just got to he need he need to die. I guess that's some asset will do. As long as it's painful and quick, I'm happy. And Gladys needs to die too. But we don't need to bring the actress in another role. They just need, Gladys just needs to be dead. And then the actress could go find some work elsewhere. But that I believe is almost everything in this episode. If I missed something, please let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought about this episode in the comment section below. Um, and hit the like button if you enjoyed. That helps me out. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. I'll see y'all later. Peace.